Well, what's going on, YouTube? You're here with Two Raw Gaming, bringing you another video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go over some uh, Legion Go stuff, of course. Why didn't this install? It's still downloading. Okay. All right. So um, recently, I made a, a, a PlayStation Remote video showing off like the games that are being played on the PlayStation Remote. And a lot of you had questions on like uh, button mapping the uh, trackpad and the home button. So I I just want to kind of make that video real quick on this. Um, now, before when I did it, uh, it would only work sometimes. And then I realized for some odd reason, it works best if your buttons are, are swapped, which means your Legion L and R button are down here and then you're starting to select are up here uh why i don't know but um of course you guys know you can do that through legion space i'm not going to activate legion space because it just takes forever uh, but just to show you guys if i press that of course i have um the right menu pop up over here so it's already like that or whatever uh so what you want to do of course go into the controller the first thing it'll pop up is enable steam input as you see right now it says disable because i already got it enabled if if my shit focuses there it goes uh, you want to enable that first. Otherwise, this shit will not work. All right. Uh, what you want to do is just go to edit layout. This is the way I did it. If there's another easier, simpler way, you know, please feel free to, to, to point that out. But this is the way I did it. Uh, go into buttons and then you want to go all the way down to uh, your menu buttons here. Right. So you have your start and select. Um, this is how I have it set up. So. Uh, of course, you have your select button. You want to hit this icon here and do add extra command. Uh, and then once you add your extra command, right, it pops up here. You want to set it to the escape key because the escape key is, is treated as the home button. I have it set to double press, which means once I double press it, it'll go. Um, it'll go. Uh, it'll pop up the, 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 the like quick bar menu. And then this one, the escape key, it was supposed to be set to uh i'll set it here you just i want to set that one to do 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 long press which is that one and that should take me back to uh the home screen completely uh and then here at the bottom like i say you want to add an extra command again and then you want to set this to the t key the t key uh is for the uh touchpad and then i have that one set to long press to activate the touchpad uh again this is, I don't want to say it's very hit or miss, but a lot of times, sometimes for some reason, it just won't work and you have to close it out and go back into it. Uh, but like I said, I think what will fix it is if, if you have those um, set to the shit. So, you know, anyways, so go back out of here and I'll show you guys here as we go to play um, and we will launch into a game. I have my PlayStation on already. I'll go ahead and double tap that. Sorry for the screen. I don't have a, a, a damn what you call it to clean it off with, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so I'm already loaded up into Spider-Man here and I kind of just wanted to, wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna press X. Uh, so I think it was this one. If I double tap, as you see right there, it brings up the, the quick home menu bullshit or whatever, right? Then if I press and hold, it takes me home. So, and then if I press it once, it still recognizes that it's it's being uh, the share button or whatever. And of course, if you're someone who double taps the share button to start your recordings, well then you just probably gotta set it up a different way. Again, this is just the way that I set it up. You can set it up however you fucking want to. All right, yeah, my bad for that. Um, the phone cut off, so anyways. So I showed you guys how to, to uh, how again, we have the, the home here and then double tap. We have that right so now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that the trackpad does work now unfortunately i have no way of trying to like put the track like you know you could swipe up on the trackpad or whatever especially for this game they have it but just to to show you guys um press and hold and as you guys see it brings up uh you know the the whole menu of what the uh the trackpad would do which would be bring up the map just to show you again you press start and then press and hold and you have the trackpad so that's it for this video guys it's very short um i just like i said i wanted to show that off um be sure to hit you know the socials in the in the description below follow me on twitter follow me on instagram 
uh, follow me on here on YouTube as well. Um, I, I need more. I need more subscribers. Uh, we are having the Dragon Ball Sparking uh, giveaway coming up soon. Like I said, I'm gonna wait till after Battle Hour. There's just been a lot of a lot of stuff going on with that. Um, and yeah, be on the lookout for some more videos. We have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre video coming up, uh, Game Pass video, and, and just a bunch more um, uh, videos for. Um, Oh, look at that. So, I did not know that. So, I guess the trackpad is the trackpad. That makes a lot of sense. So, you don't have to map this one, I guess. Uh, which is awesome. You know, um, I have my the two back buttons uh, mapped here. So now we're ending the video. That just threw me off for a loop. I did not know that the actual uh, mouse pad act, asks the trackpad. So we just learned something new together. So that's actually really cool. Um, so again, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed and uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace.